when someone decides to cooperate, it's a long process of you sit down with the person and his lawyer and you literally start from day one. Like, from, you know, when, what's the, did you ever steal as a child? I mean, obviously those might not lead to crimes, but... But, but you're talking but like you're talking, that early. Yes, you're talking, I want to know everything. I want to know about everything. Because we need to know, uh, one, that you're telling us the truth about everything. We need to know all the bad things you've done. This cooperation system can only work if at the end of the day, a jury believes this cooperator. Because everyone knows uh, they'll have an incentive to help themselves. And the government's honest about it and transparent. Yes, you are cooperating to help yourself. And so then what do we need to do to ensure that what you're telling us is the truth? Well, we need to ensure that you've told us everything. We need to ensure there's a big hammer over you if you lie. You make them tell you everything you've done. You actually make them plead guilty to everything that they've done that was a crime. Not just the things you were charged with. That's the hammer. That's the hammer. If you're going to flip, you have to be prepared. You have to be all in. To do much more than just... Yeah. Talk about the and case that's at a, hand. And that's a process that takes time. And you've worked on white collar crime, mob cases. In some cases, they, these places and people have shaped their very identities. Yeah. And they, they have to make this decision. Not only am I going to cooperate with the authorities, I am going to basically repudiate the things and the people that made me. Yeah. How hard, I mean, like, what is the, what is the psychology of that? It's a huge step for a defendant to take. They have to repudiate the entire life uh, prior to that moment. It's hard, and that's why you try not to rush that process. Uh -huh. You sit down with him in a windowless conference room, and his lawyer's there, and we tell them, if you go down this road of cooperation and fail, you are going to be in a very, very bad place. When the person finally decides to, to flip, is that usually a decision they come to in private with their families? It usually involves, uh, honestly, a good lawyer who explains this to him or her. A good lawyer will tell them, you have a choice. Right. We can fight this. But part of that advice has to be, but you also have this option to cooperate. I'm advising you that because that's an option you have and you need to seriously consider it. And this is where I think the reputation of a place like the Southern District of New York helps because people know that the Southern District of New York will be tenacious, they will be tough, they will follow all the leads. These are thorough, uh, tough, smart people.